in all cases of envelope viruses, the entry process, and that will be the topic of the next part of this set of lectures, uh, involves fusion of the viral membrane with a membrane of the host cell. So just as the assembly process, the maturation process, the exit process involves budding out and pinching off, so entry involves the reverse process, attachment and fusion of the two membranes. We'll talk about fusion in great detail in the next uh, part of this series. But just to give you a hint of what's to come, an important feature of all of these uh, viral envelope proteins is that under suitable circumstances, they can be triggered to undergo a major conformational rearrangement. It's that rearrangement that drives the fusion event. So that in the case of the dengue virus particle, there is a rearrangement from the dimeric structure shown here, a rather plate-like organization of two somewhat elongated protein subunits into a trimer in which hydrophobic residues at the tip of one of the domains, this yellow domain, so called domain two, cluster together at one end of the trimer and interact with the target cell membrane in order to begin the process by which the two membranes are brought together. In the case of dengue virus, this conformational change is triggered by proton binding, a signal that the virus has arrived in the low pH compartment of an endosome. In other cases, other signals are uh, read out, so to speak, by the fusion mechanism. We can look at this um, in one more slide where the interaction with the target cell membrane is shown and there is a zipping up process of the C-terminal part of the subunit that actually is part of the pinching together of the two membranes and leading to a, an elaborate bit of molecular machinery.